from there. Pepe. There was a brief moment where I tried to make you. Hey guys, it's Mommy Tang. Today's video is not for everybody. It's just for some moms that need, like, desperate, desperately, like, need my help. About six months ago, Peyton, um, my two-year-old baby, she had a sledding accident and she dislocated her hip. And so she was, um, you know, rushed to the hospital and she had to get a spike, a cast, all the way from her waist down to her ankle. Yeah. I'm not going to clean up my, my toy. Peter, come here. Peter, come here. Now, at the hospital, it was all right. Okay. When I brought her home, three, four days later, the spike cast, oh my God, it started like smelling really bad. And by the next day, it was just disgusting. I could smell the old urine. It was just really bad. So I started Googling. I started, you know, YouTubing to see what to do. Um, not enough information out there. So I started gathering things just to fix it up and everything. And three or four weeks later, when I went for my checkup, the doctor and the technician that does this cast looked at it and said, oh my God, this is like so clean. This, what did you do? And they were looking at it and they said, wow, you should put this up on YouTube because this is, wow. They were just, you know, uh, amazed actually. And um, they kind of do like a, you know, and halfway through, they do little like a, a thing where they fix the cast up and everything. The two technicians literally stood behind me and they were watching me and they were just going, hmm, 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 you know? And so um, I really wanted to help some moms out there that have little baby that needs diapering but has a cast on and they don't know what to do because of this this smell. Uh, I have a perfect solution for you. If you're watching this and it has nothing to do with you, just, you know, like, next video, you know, you could find something interesting, I guess, or I'll do another recipe video very soon. I know the video is a little too long, but like I said, if you need to skip it, just skip it. And if you want to watch the whole thing, just do your dishes and, you know, whatever while you're cooking or whatever, you could just have it on and just watch it. So from the beginning of uh, the video, I will show you how I changed it to make it like non-odor, I guess, odor-proof uh, cast all the way through how I diapered it and how I, I dressed her. For some of you that don't know, what I do is I post a lot of pictures on Instagram on high carb, low fat, vegan, Asian food. So if you're interested in losing weight, the baby weight, the baby fat, the prego weight, whatever, um, there is a, like a video log and everything that I post, um, recipes and stuff like that, so you could watch that. As far as the, the cast goes, I hope you are okay, the baby is okay, and just hang in there because when the cast comes off, they will be just, you know, back to normal. I was kind of worried, oh my gosh, how is she gonna walk and all that stuff, but she's really walking fine now. Like, you don't even know that she ever had cast on. So, you know, that will happen to you, so don't worry. And uh, really, really good luck, okay? See, okay, so as you could see, my little baby, she's on a body well hip spica cast and I just want to show you how I did um, clean her we did her uh, spica cast and pretty much this is her fifth week in fifth week into it and she seriously don't have any odor at all so I have this thing I have this thing cover just to you know cover her private parts that. But when you first bring her from the get down from from the hospital, you'll notice that this is not this is I mean this is my third time doing this so it's already been um, you know taped up and stuff like that. But when you first bring her, what you will see is something like this without this thing. So basically, they have um, this Gore-Tex material wrapped around. You know like something like this something like that and you'll see like a, a little hole here f for her to you know go to the bathroom with and at the hospital they told me to put a infant diaper like this okay and told me to get a size six six diaper and um, go around the whole a cast like that to catch 
you know, the extra mess. So now I had it on like that for three days. And the third day into it, because um, they had little, you know, holes here or whatever here, it started leaking into the cast and the whole cast here has a sponge. If you open it up, it's actually, you know, cast and there's a little sponge here like this. And then they have the Gore-Tex, like a, a, a protectant, you know, thing to go over it. But the, 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 the cotton here was all soaking wet. So, you know, urine, oh my gosh, if it's wet and it just was so stinky. And I couldn't even hold her from my arm because whatever that was leaking here, when I was holding her arm like this, it would stink up my arm really bad. So I couldn't, I came home and I Googled and everything and I just couldn't, um, <coughs> excuse me, go on with that for another six weeks. This is her fifth week into it, like I said. And as you uh, could tell, this is what I did. So I'm gonna wanna share with you what I did. So I came home and pretty much I ripped, um, I got a scissors and I kind of like ripped the, the you know, the, the Gore-Tex around it. So let's say if it was like this, I could kind of cut it like that and expose the, uh, the inside. And I noticed it was all yellow, gooey, wet. It was really disgusting. So I pulled a lot of it out and I just trashed it like the sponge out. Now you want to have a little bit of cushion here. So um, you could use something like this or you could use, this is what I got from the hospital. You could, you know, rip it up like this and um, you know, make a padding. But first what you need to do is you want to have this all dried. So the best thing you want to do is basically, I got this one, it says pure, airy, whatever. And it's odor eliminating for babies. And it's not for her skin, it's for, you know, carpet, cyber pale, bedding, but it's safe for uh, babies. So what I did was I covered her, you know, her, her skin like this and I sprayed it in here like so like well you could spray it like I guess like that you know sorry boo and it was wet and then you get a blow dryer and you this is a the the, the step that you really we need to do this you need to actually blow dry You need to really get a blow dry, but then you don't want to use hot. You want to use um, cold, cool um, setting and go back and forth from hot. Put your hand in there like this and dry it and then have your... Like that. That's the step that you need to really, really focus on. I dried her probably about 15 to 20 minutes. And when I put my finger in there, it was pretty much all dry. It was, I mean, you know, the yellow cookie, the sponge was still there. It was still stinky a little bit, but like I said, I spray that to prevent it from sticking, uh, from, you know, having more odor. Because this was, um, I'll let you, uh, um, Peyton stuff. All the stuff that I have here, I got it from pretty much diaper.com. So you could go in there and order um, whatever you need. So pretty much I did that and I covered it. I covered it. And the, when I was in the hospital, they gave me this little like a, uh, you know, band-aid. I guess they were like little band-aids, I guess, whatever. And you could cut it up and give, um, you know, just go wrap around it like this, so, you know, to give the X, cause sometimes it's like really, you know, sharp here. So the baby might be uncomfortable, but you know, you have to, like first I was like really worried about this not being smooth, but the diaper goes in there. So you don't have to really worry about that. And you know, you could cut it or whatever. It's just pretty much you could do, you know, you could construct this any way you want. Now, when I went on the third week um, for checkup, uh, the doctor said, you know, you could go to the, the, the technician, ask them to fix, you know, the dirty parts for you, pay it for you. And then when the technician saw it, they literally didn't do anything. And they just gave me a whole bunch of materials to bring it home. And they were actually watching me do this because they were like, I've never seen a spike of cast come in in three weeks with this clean, uh, you know, with no odor. It was so clean. They were like really amazed how I kept it um, clean, but it wasn't even really me. It was just um, taking time to do this. So pretty much you want to tape it up and you could do it all around here. You could do it around here. You know, it doesn't matter where you do it. Just, um, this is just 
to give that extra cushion you know so let's say this was sharp here then you would just go around it with something like this and then you would tape it and give that extra cushion for her to be uh, comfortable and it doesn't have to be really pretty like in the first time I did it I was like oh my god it looks so ugly whatever but it's really not about looking <laughs> I guess neat it's more about how she would feel so I'm gonna turn her over and show you so there was another hole so I did the same thing at the back I cut this open everything open and this the reason I'm doing it, she has one week left but I'm doing this because um Peyton because uh, you know some of the places need it more uh, you know cleaning so as you could see I'm gonna show you uh, right before she had this on this is all the dirty stuff that she had on so I pretty much took it out you can see how it's like yellow and gooky and you know like oh it's really disgusting so you probably want to do this every other week I don't know how long you would have the cast on for your baby but um, I, I this is my third time in so pretty much every other week I cleaned her cast out so pretty much you want to go in there and make sure that nothing is wet like nothing is wet for her here but if you find anything wet like I said spray this make sure you don't get it on her skin spray it you know and then you want to blow dry it as you know dry as possible she to blow dry it and then you want to uh, like I said get one of these or you know some you know the, the hospital might give you something else. maybe they give you this but then just make sure there's cushion and this is something that the hospital gave me but i had to ask for it this was the spica skin waterproof breathable hip spica liner and this is nothing to really do with um uh i don't think they gave it to you when you actually get discharged but when i went back the second time they actually gave it to me because i was like i need the gore-tex paper because it was leaking still somewhere and even though i taped it really well it started leaking somewhere here and once it starts leaking it'll smear into the whole spiker cast and it will start stinking up really bad so i asked one of these papers so they come like um like you know in the pig piece like this like you know it comes out like this and you'll know this is exact the stuff that they use to line her spiker with so what i did with this i cut it up right this is what I did and then I start um, placing it after this is like you know cause I, this is like I said second time doing it but let's say you have this the raw one like this this is a band-aid material so if this gets wet it would smell so you want to protect it with this Gore-Tex type of um, material so you want to go around it like this you know like that but if you have this one opening, you have to make sure that they also give you this tape. This is almost, um, also, they give it to you. Patent. They also give this to you at the hospital. And um, so you could ask for whatever, more, whatever you need. So pretty much you want to go, um, let's see, let's try to show you what I did. You want to cut it up. You know, you want to save it too, because this is my last time changing. She's getting this off next week. So, oh my gosh, I can't wait, but so I'm not really like being really, you know, careful with what I'm using. But the first and the second week, I wanted to save as much as possible because I just, just in case it leaks, I had to do it again. So you want to line this up like this, right? And it's not the top that you're worried about. It's more the bottom that you're worried about. So you want to get a tape and then you want to tape it um like just put your hand through it and tape it really well so this is the part that you have to start doing and in the beginning i like i'll tell you now that but this didn't really stick well to the cast so it kept on coming up and then of course when i was washing her or when she took you know when she took a nap and it got rubbed off it start um leaking so i have a solution for that too so pretty much this is what you want to do you know just go you want to make sure whatever inside it, you want to go deep as, as possible and then tape this. It takes time, yes it does, but you have to realize once you do this, for at least two, three weeks, she won't have a smelly cast. If you think you have a smelly cast now and you're like so frustrated, this is the best solution because I am telling you, my cast did not stink at all. And you don't have to really worry about being smooth inside because you're going to put a diaper in there 
and they don't feel anything anyways. And it's easier for you probably because you won't have this cloth to block whatever you're doing right now. It's covered because you know, I don't want you guys to see her to see, but you know what I mean. Just make it see and just go like this around it and make sure you tape it really well. This is also waterproof and they say it doesn't irritate their skin. So this was a really um, good tape to have except they told me that it was expensive I think and they try not to give me as much so I was just very careful with um, how much I was using so I would have that you know, when I need to change the cast like I said. See how much it's like pretty much sealed. Look how it's sealed out and sealed in. Yes, I yeah. You want popsicle boo? Okay, I'll give it a popsicle, okay? So this is pretty much sealed in. Look how nice it is. The only problem is um, in the very beginning, I didn't have enough tape of this and I started taping here like this because this will kind of come off easily so, and then it was such a waste. So what I did was I went to, um, you know, the school supply store, I guess they have it anywhere, and I got a duct tape. I got a really nice, um, you know, like you could, for girls you could get stuff like this, for boys, you know, there's other like Lego or whatever. And then you could just put the tape around to seal that off and this works so well and it actually makes the cast you know like fun I guess and this was like a lifesaver for me because you know with, with this one you could pretty much get anywhere this um, duct tape this was hard to find so you want to really make sure that you want to save this so um, this duct tape works. you just have to make sure that you get a soft kind the soft duct tape instead of the hard one. Sometimes they have like the hard with glitter and stuff like that. That those I had it. It was cute in the beginning, so I got the glitter one for her, and it did not work. It did not stick well. So you want to put this around to seal it off, and this prevents it from like when she would wear clothes or something like that. This doesn't, you know, come off. See, look how nice it is. And you could pretty much, um, you know, just go over wherever you think that needs that extra. Um, so this is really set to go. So if she's, um, let's say she leaked or she pooped, this will be so easy to just wipe off because this, this is all waterproof. So you want to do pretty much all around for the back and the front. So I'm gonna start working on the front side. So I put a little stick here because sometimes she rubs off here and then she complains that it's itchy. So I try to clear that side up and make that part clean as possible. <laughs> and you want to make sure the side is really smooth because that's the part that the diaper don't touch. So pretty much that's the part that she'll be touching. So you want to make it as smooth as possible and always seal it up with um, this tape because it has to be waterproof. If it's anything is not waterproof and um, let's say you're washing her or um, you know, if her pee leaks or something like that, then it's just gonna be stinky and disaster. You might have to do the whole thing again. So to prevent that, you always want to cover with a waterproof tape after you um, give her a little cushion. So it's pretty much done for the front and the back, okay? And the reason I'm actually leave, um, not showing you the side is because when they seal this up, they said, see this how much like you have space in here, you could put my hand in there. And same with here and they want to have like, you know, at least your finger around it. The problem with this side is this was way too tight here and I couldn't get my finger in here. And I noticed that she started getting rash. 
and um, she would sweat in there because it would touch the Gore-Tex. It would kind of be, even though it's it, the Gore-Tex is on it, it started getting really stinky right there. So I purchased this, um, something called the Clean Well, it's natural hand sanitizing wipes. It doesn't have any alcohol, so it does um, not sting her. It's kit safe formula. So this really was helpful to get the bacteria out, the stinkiness out. So pretty much what I did was I just, stuck in there and start cleaning this out you'll see how dirty it comes out like if you do this often you'll just be like you know like you know this brown so because this is still you know like the um i just you know it's a sanitizing wipe and i just felt like this was you know that it could give her a rash and i always didn't feel safe because i'm always like a water and soap person you know, I always want to wash everything. But then this was really helpful. And like between diaper chains, this is really good to clean like this. Just so, you know, just in case the, you know, just to clean up the cast. And this was really, really, really helpful, like I said. So, you know, like I said, you could get this at diaper.com. That's where I got all my stuff. And, you know, maybe your local supermarket would have them, whatever. But I, this is what I did. So I did that. And then this is something, a diaper lotion potion spray. This is for people that use diaper cloth. I mean, the... Um, cloth diapering so I always was um, I always had this around but you could actually use this to clean um, the area out you could spray it and then clean it out you know if you don't want to use um, the white but you know it's up to you so pretty much that was that and then what I did was I got another Gore-Tex only because um, some of the Gore-Tex when I felt it inside was kind of um, ripped and because it was touching her all the time it was hard for me to wipe in there and I just want to show you what came out of her thigh like this see how yellow it look how yellow it is right so this was actually in here like this because you know her she would sweat or you know her dirty stuff will be there whatever so I just wanted to be able to change that each diaper change so I got a little long one like this and just go through it this was really hard because it was so tight and I couldn't get my hand through it and I was like so worried that she's gonna break it out she had a little bit of eczema you know on her body so um this was really good I just had to make sure that you type you know you uh you know but who cares what it looks as long as it's clean and they're comfortable and hopefully they won't be on it for too long um, so this is what I did. See, like that, yeah. And of course, you have to start taping this to seal off. You have to remember, even though this is wrapped around Gore-Tex, if the liquid, um, her pee or whatever, leaks, there's little spaces in here that it could go in. So this will be just really dirty. So what you have to do is, um, as much as possible just you have to stick the tape in there and then seal um the gore-tex with the remaining gore-tex i guess here i don't know if that makes sense but you know you know what i mean like you just have to make sure it's all sealed up like let's say you're gonna have something very um you know you say you're sealing up something then that's what you would do so you just have to lift her up and make sure you kind of i know honey this takes a long time so if your kid is like one of those kids that don't like to stay still then it's probably the best if you do it when they're napping or they're sleeping my kid is actually pretty good she stays and as long as I give her candy or not candy but you know food and whatever that she likes and you want to, okay so this part is kind of like some parts are actually harder than other parts because they're like this is so tight I know, I know. so she has a new Gore-Tex wrapped around this cast area where it touches her when she's walking or playing or you know what I mean so now she has a really really clean Gore-Tex um, wrapped around here and she uh, hopefully she will be um, be with that on yeah but can you imagine just having this around you it would be so uncomfortable so i try to make it as dry and comfortable as possible so um see at this point 
I don't smell any urine. I just smell like the heavy tapes. You know what I mean? When you have the, the new tape smell, the band-aid smell, I guess. But you know, it, this. Uh... Okay, so now I am done with all the sealing it up. See, look, it's all sealed up nice with the tape all the way through. Make sure you have no um, spaces between the tape. Like if you see something like that, just go around. That's what I did right here, there's a little, see how there's like a little space here? You want to make sure you get that because that's where the water could get in and then just make the whole thing all wet. Um, so you just want to make sure you go around, you touch it with your hand to see if there's anything. Um, not sticking properly and stuff like that so the next part like see as you can see that this doesn't um you know stick well so if she's sleeping and if she takes it out then this will just you know all go to a waste so that's where you get the um where's the tape get the uh the duct tape whatever that she likes if she's older you know you could use that you know she likes barbie or frozen so you pretty much want to tape it you don't want to make you want to make sure this doesn't touch where her skin touches but wherever that needs to be sealed like this that's where you want to um, use this to seal it up real good this is not good stop making her cry Yes, I know this is a little bit time consuming, but like I said, you know, you do this, you take your time, like, you know, every other week or, you, you know, if you see a lot of really good, maybe even three weeks, it'll last, maybe it'll last you four weeks. I don't know. I just did it because I felt like I just wanted to give her the clean, um, you know, the cast. But once you do it for two, three weeks, oh my God, you don't have to worry about stinky cast and you don't have to worry about anything. And it's like a, a really, really good, um, you know, way to have this. I just go go around like so, and uh, just tape around it. You know, so when she's walking, she has her clothes on, whatever, it doesn't um, come off the. So basically, you want to do that. I don't know. I hope my camera is aimed well because I'm not really even checking my camera to see if it's aimed well. Just make sure, like I said, don't get it on her skin and you're aiming it for her, um, just the cast. So it'll stay the tape that, that you stick on. It will stay. See, look at how, like, see right here, it, it'll come off like that. So it's stuff like this. You want to go over, and usually I notice if you have the seam stuck to the duct tape itself, it won't come off. But if you like cut it off, like right here where the cast is at, then it'll kind of rub off. So you want to go where the the duct tape is at already, and then cut it, and then tape it, and it won't come off as much. But look at that. This is like bulletproof, odor proof, and it won't stink at all. Even though you wash her, you know, like sometimes I would, um, um, you know, they said, it's, yeah, it's so important to have the cast dry because if you have wet spot, that's when they start getting rash all over the, um, their skin. So you have to really make sure that you have a dry cast. And this is one of the most effective way to do this. I am telling you, when I went to get her spica cast, we looked at and technicians were so amazed. They were like, how did you do this? And I was like, I don't know, I just did it. And you know, I just want to share with you guys because this is like, it saves so much like headache of like leaked Spica. See how nice it is, all sealed up, everything is all done, so you don't have to worry about her getting wet. Now, I'm going to move on to the diaper part.
so like I said, the uh, the hospital they told me to you know put a, a, a preemie or either a maxi pad or something like that, like this. Okay, this is how probably they taught you to do it, like this, like in you know, all the way around, and then have number six diaper on like this, right? This is probably the, the, what the hospital told you to do. That's what I did, and then it start leaking because sometimes her you know urine is big and it won't catch on this so it'll come out and then it'll go in here it, that's one thing that you want to prevent for her to the the urine to go into actual cast and to come down here like you can't even go in there and clean up so um what i did this was like the best honey are you really playing with scissors okay so let's say she had a, a poopy diaper um what i did was i got this poise whatever overnight pads it's kind of embarrassing to buy this at the uh the supermarket but who cares for your kid i got number six and they have you know i think um the overnight pads or whatever so get that this was like the best for me so i got that and i also got um large or extra large diaper for big kids you know those some kids that they have you know problem i guess peeing in bed at night so they make this for like big kids so i got that extra large large this was really good to have and then of course if your kid used to wear size four then you want to get one step up like five if your kid was using five then get six diaper so what you want to do is you want to get um she was always on four so what i did was i got size five and i liked pampers because they were thinner and they smell better than huggies so um i don't know i used pampers throughout this so you won't want to get you want to cut the side both side off like so then you want to get the the pad the overnight pad this is for you know um it's not for period it's for more you know there to uh for people with i guess uh what do you call it um bladder yeah bladder control or problems so it comes out like this with the little um the little watermark here you want to put this towards the front because even though you know how girls when you pee i don't know i guess it's different for boys but if you pee it'll leak through the back because the cat uh, the spiker cast is so tight it won't happen so everything will be catched on to wherever she is at so what you want to do is place that like so inside a um you know and make sure it's lined up so there's no thing here like so okay and what you want to do is you want to start from the back see it's lined so it's thicker okay turn around boo. so what you want to do is you want to stick this in here like so i'm gonna um just do this with the cloth then because i don't want you guys to see your bum bum so you're going to put your hand in all the way like this and you're going to try to catch it from the top. Do so you see how I'm catching it from the top? And make sure it's lined up nice like that. And then ask her to turn around. Turn around. Turn around, baby. Turn around. Good girl. And then, oops. And then you go, you're going to go around just like you're putting a diaper on her. Make sure this, this wasn't taped properly. Okay. And then you want to put it inside the cast. Make sure it's in. And then you want to put it in here like so. This is a little hard part because some, some spiker cast is really not tight. But like I said, my daughter's spiker cast was so tight here. So you want to stick it in here. Stick your hand again. Um, take it out from here. Make sure the, the, the diaper actually comes out from the other end. So it looks final. It looks like that and make sure that all the diaper is in. So when she pees, most likely it will be in the diaper, not out of the diaper, right? So it's like sealed up, just like a regular diaper, how you would have the regular diaper. But sometimes she would go put her hand in there and she'll kind of push the diaper out or whatever. It, it might leak here. So that's when this thing comes in. And you would want to put this on her like so. So she has like a double diaper. And the good thing about this one is that because um, this diaper, if this diaper doesn't leak, you could reuse this like as many times. Sometimes I use it for days, you know, sometimes she'll leak. So make sure you just kind of put it in here like that. And that's what she did. And also, um, 
sometimes I would notice some rash between here, like I said, because it was so tight. So I would put like a Vaseline or, you know, Aquaphor, whatever on, on there. And um, since I don't want her to touch the vortex, what I did was I got one of these little cloth, see? And then I cut it because they were thin. So I cut it like that and I just kind of wrapped around it, just that area to give her like the cotton um, soft, you know, so she won't sweat or something like that. And you would just kind of do this. So that's what I did. And pretty much this was her diapering throughout the whole um, time. And another thing I wanted to share with you was um, if you don't want to buy this po uh, disposable ones, you could actually use a cloth diapering. And this was actually pretty because it kind of looked like um, more like an underwear instead of her wearing a diaper out, you know, like so. But only one thing problem with this was that she would sometimes take this out and I would, wouldn't have any protection. Another good thing that I want you to know is um, instead of putting, stop, wait, instead of putting pants, instead of putting pants on, what I did was I went to like a ballet shop where they have, you know, the, the knee warmers for the winter. You could actually put this, baby, look, put this around her like so, just one leg. And this was just like that. And then I just put any skirt, like a big skirt, like I'll put, her, put it through her head and then she would just wear it like that. And then, you know, like same thing, you would put a socks on her. But I had like, I have three girls, as you know, so I had all these different from her ballet classes. So I, you know, sometimes she would wear black, pink, whatever. So this was it. And um, another tip is when you go to the hospital, they'll give you these kind of um, paper. Put this on top of your car seat. So just in case she has a leak or something like that, that you don't have to, um, you know, change your whole car seat around. So this was really good to have for a couple days. Um, just put it under her um, car seat or, you know, you, you could use blanket, I guess. But this, they just gave me a whole bunch. So that's what I did. Use that. So I hope this was a, a helpful video. I know this was a really long, probably a video. I'm going to try to see how I could do it. But that's pretty much what I did. And it was... Stink free, order free, spike a cast, uh, diaper change. Wait, let me get this. Okay, go to daddy, okay? Bye-bye. Okay.